Hello, good evening, or at least it's evening for me, and welcome back to another spooky commentary. Um, today we're basically going to be discussing the story of Bonnie and Clyde, which is pretty famous within, like, our United States for the fact that they were, like, these two, like, star-crossed lovers that would often commit, like, a ton of crimes together, and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get right into this spooky story. So, just a little background, um, Bonnie and Clyde, uh, their full names are Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow, and Bonnie was born on October 1st, 1910, in Rowena, Texas, I think that's how you say it, and Clyde was born in March 24th, 1909, in Talico, Texas. So, you're thinking, how do they even meet each other, you know? Well, Barrow had been a criminal long before he even met Parker in January 1930, and after 20 months in prison in 1930 to 1932, he teamed up with Parker, and the two began a crime spree that lasted around 21 months. And they often worked with Confederates, including Barrow's brother Buck and Buck's wife Blank, as well as Ray Hamilton and W.D. Jones, Bonnie and Clyde, as they were properly known, robbed gas stations, restaurants, and small town banks, and their take never exceeded $1,500, and it was chiefly in Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Missouri, so a lot of states there. <laughs> their crime spree starts off in December 1932 when the FBI learned of an abandoned automobile in Michigan that had been stolen in Oklahoma. Search in Oklahoma of a second stolen car linked both automobiles to Barrow and Parker through a prescription bottle that had been filled for Barrow's aunt. Further investigation led the FBI to issue a warrant against the couple for interstate transportation of the second stolen automobile on May 20th, 1933. During that year, Barrow and Parker actually engaged in several shootouts with police. In November 1933, police in Dallas, Texas attempted to capture them near Grand Prairie, but they escaped. In January 1934, in Waldo, Texas, they helped engineer the escape of five prisoners during which two guards were killed. And on April 1st, 1934, Barrow and Parker murdered two police officers in Groupville, Texas. And five days later, they killed a police constable in Miami, Oklahoma, and kidnapped a police chief. They were eventually betrayed by a friend, and police officers from Texas and Louisiana ambushed the couple along a highway between the towns of Gibsland and Sales in Bienville Parish, Louisiana, on May 23rd, 1934, and after they attempted to flee the roadblock, police opened fire, which killed them upon impact. So that's basically how their whole, you know, crime, love story, whatever you want to call it, ended. Um, they're pretty famously known um, for their crimes and as lovers and everything that they did together, and their story actually inspired a movie, which is actually called Bonnie and Clyde, funny enough. <laughs> And I haven't personally seen the movie, but honestly, their story seems super interesting, and I wanted to talk about it. They were also famously known as, like, a couple that would always stay by each other's side and never ratted out each other. So basically, literally the term, partners in crime. And yeah, they're also famously known for going down together because they died in the same exact spot and in the same way. Anyways, that basically concludes it for this little, you know, love story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed another spooky commentary. Comment down below what other spooky commentaries you guys like to see. This is also a clip of me dying, by the way. But yeah, I really hope you guys have a good day. I love you and bye bye